Hi, my name is Ian, and we're uh, here looking at the Cool Tech 34288 here at JTech. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to use it properly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put on the lines. You got your high pressure line and your low pressure line. They snap on. You pull the ring back like that. Snap it right in. Alright, then we'll come over here and turn on the system. Spling. Go ahead and open up the lines. Spling, spling. Go ahead and hit recover. Spling. Go ahead and hit start. Spling. And uh, then when that's done, Gonna go ahead and hit vacuum. Once you've recovered all of the liquid, you put a vacuum on the line and watched these two gauges to see if you're holding a vacuum for a long period of time. It'll show you if you have suction or not. If you do, go ahead and recharge the system and put all of that back in your system and close her back up. Once you're done with that, go ahead and Close both sides, purge them, close both sides, and go ahead and turn off your system. Boom. For JTEC, going over how to manually recover the AC system, we're going to be using the um, suction pump, as well as a recovery tank, as well as the manual dial and readers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is unplug your hoses and make sure that you purge all of the lines of uh, materials. Then the second thing you're going to want to do is bring the tank over, go ahead and stick it right up onto your handy dandy scale, and then go ahead and tear it. On this one it's going to be clear. Mm -mm. Oh, no, there is a tear button. I'm reading it upside down. Anywho, after you've done that, we'll go ahead and start with the hoses connecting everything. Just going to go ahead and connect your high side, your low side, and then you're gonna come over here and connect it both on these side. Make sure all of your valves are closed until you have everything connected. Once you have everything connected, go ahead and check the pressure for one on these two gauges, as well as you have a sight glass here to show you whether or not you actually have liquid in it. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and hook up your tank over here to the um, side pressure valve. So you can go ahead and add your coolant as well as if you want to recover it, either way. And uh, when you're recovering it, all you're going to do is check the weight that you're getting after you've teared it to make sure you get the correct amount of refrigerant back into the tank. So you want to know exactly how much you have, so that way you can replace it with the, either that amount or the amount specified. Um, the next step you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn this guy on and go ahead and pull the vacuum and suck all of the refrigerant out. Once you've done this, it'll light up or buzz depending on the unit you have. And uh, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and finish off by closing off these valves here. And when you're working with the valves, make sure you read the tops because they're not color coded. They come differently depending on which tank you get. And uh, after that, you can go ahead and purge these lines once you've done adding all of your uh, refrigerant or if you're pulling out your refrigerant check to see if it's still holding pressure and once you're done with that you can go ahead and finish her up and then uh, you're going to want to purge the lines one more time to make sure you don't have any more contaminants left in your lines make sure that this is clear take your last reading so you know what's left in your canister and uh, you're good to go